right, how are we on? Welcome back to another episode of Jay's Allotment Diary. I'm Jay and this is my garden. It is now Thursday the 6th of May and it's absolute horrendous. It's pouring down a rain. Uh, we've been hit with some snow and some sleet as well. It's freezing cold. Uh, every time I get up in the morning, I've got to de-ice the, the, the van and the car. Uh, it's just not good. Not good at all. Uh, I have been busy for the past couple of days down at the plot. But I haven't done any recording uh, due to the camera broke, so now I've got a new camera. Uh, so there's a little bit of a check, guys. Make sure the quality is alright for you. Hopefully it is. Uh, but I have been busy a little bit. What I've gone and done is the brass guys were in a uh, potty tunnel at the top. I uh, repotted them up, uh, so they're being potted up into the next size pot because they're going to be hanging around just for another two more weeks, roughly. Uh, hopefully on the weekend we can get them pulled out of the potty tunnel. And put inside of the cold frame what I sorted out just so they can start hardening up like I see the temperatures at this moment of time and the weather and all that's not the best of uh, we got, still need to turn the ground over where the brassicas are going to be going but it's no rush uh, like I say uh, they're being potted on now uh, I'll let you have a little look and then uh, they're going to be going inside of the cold frame and then they'll be getting transplanted out once we sort the ground out also uh, I've been through some new flowers as well uh, so the Rebecca So with the weather being miserable, I've just been sitting in the shed and uh, I've gone through some of Rebecca's. I've got them off my alley, they're looking kind of good. Also, uh, petunias, I've got some petunias, I had some petunias. Uh, I just set them away in a little, uh, in a little tub. And uh, the other day I went through them all, I pricked them out, put them in multi cell trays and I've got about 120 of them. Uh, they're sitting inside of the potting shed at this moment of time. They've been in there for the past two days and uh, they seem to be okay. Uh, so fingers crossed, we'll get some lovely little plug plants from them. And they're going to be getting located around the garden and some hanging baskets. Also the chicken coop, on the side of the chicken coop. I might put some baskets on, on there as well. Uh, but we'll look into that uh, throughout the next couple of weeks. Uh, like I say, hopefully they're getting a hold at this moment of time. And uh, we'll have some nice petunias. Everything's dying to get out guys, like I say, uh, I've got the lettuce here, these are doing great, uh, loads of stuff's doing really really good, dying to get out, but it's the weather unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do, yeah, I don't want to start putting stuff out too early, and then we'll have problems uh, further on in the next couple of weeks with stuff uh, dying back in that. Uh, I am giving a little, I am watering. Uh, some plants just a little bit what needed but not too much because with the temperatures being quite uh, cold uh, the water just hangs around and I don't want any problems here uh, any problems with any of the uh, plants especially when they're at this stage where they're at now so I guys uh, so I have been quite busy like I said uh, I managed to get all this rearranged and all sorted out I have got a lot of stuff potted up and also we we'll have went through the petunias and sorted some of them out as well so what i do now is i spin these around and we'll have a, just a quick little look guys and then we'll call it a day because like i say it's absolutely freezing it's not a lot i can really do to be totally honest with you i just need to sort out the uh, casablanca uh, broccoli and get them potted up into the next size pot and then that's it sorted uh, but i spin these around and we'll have a quick little look okay Right guys, I'll just quickly span these around. Uh, so these are my uh, sweet corn, what I set away. These are the incredible. And uh, I've got more or less 100% germination on them, apart from one. So that's good, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, I have got a little bit of a lid there, just to give them that little extra protection. These are the spring onions, they're with Dad. He's going to be putting them out soon. These are my croissants. And uh, these need to be potted up into these next size pots. This is the lettuce, more lettuce. Uh, I have been going through my Elsa Craig onions. There's some leeks there. My dad's got some more leeks as well. We've got all the beets, chard, the messy brine anthems. Uh, we've got some different chilli plants here got the tomatoes sitting there and also we've got some tomato plants sitting right there uh, we've got some germination going on over here because I managed to set some pak choy away 
uh, purple broccoli, purple sprout with broccoli. We've got some iceberg lettuce coming on there. Still no sign of any Lodiva, that was a full pack. Two squash here, which was perfect for me, happy days. Uh, we've got some telepathic uh, cucumbers sitting there, there, being spot on. I had two of the Diva sitting inside of the potty tunnel, but I noticed there one of them's being munched on, so that's why I brought them inside of here because I've still got no sign of any damnation happening just yet. I got some more of these uh, in the Messy Brian anthems, is that how you pronounce them? Uh, little daisy things. They're sitting there, lovely, because they're a lovely plant, so I will be taking some of them home and stuff and giving some stuff to some friends and that. Uh, these are the marigolds, a uh, companion plant for the tomatoes. They seem to be doing all right. Uh, this grave vine stone's brilliant. Really, really pleased with this grave vine the way it's looking this moment of time. And uh, all these, this is just covered in peas. Peas all over. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with them. Uh, so yeah, guys, so everything's doing great inside of here. Like I say, I just need to get them potted up. Uh, so, but I'll show you my petunias inside of the potting shed. Right, and guys, inside of this potting shed. Uh, so as you can see here, these are my strawberries. The ones where I got inside. And these seem to be doing all right. Got flowers all over the place. Uh, I have been hit a little bit with green fly, but I have been spraying them with some washing up liquid and they seem to be doing all right seems to be doing the trick these are the petunias when i pot it up so it's 120 of them there uh, i do understand i probably will lose a couple of them but it's all right uh, we'll see how we'll get on i was going to stick these inside of the pony tunnel but however i haven't got no space inside of there so I seem to be happy enough sitting there they've been there for two days now and uh, they're still standing up and and stuff so I'm quite pleased with them. Uh, over here, Delia's starting to show. So I might try and take some cuttings from them. If not, I need to get these pulled out because it just ended up just I think now. So I basically need to try and get them pulled out. Uh, these are some more chrysamps there. Uh, these are my cuttings what I took on the mini mums from them. Seems to be doing all right. These are some more eatable peas. I just put some cover over the top because the mice have been getting at them. I want plenty of peas. Yeah, but yeah, that's just a quick little update, guys. I do apologise about the light on the petunias. See what comes from them, eh? And the strawberries are looking fantastic. So like I say, guys, eh, this shed yard yeah, don't need to sort out and work out what I'm going to be doing with it for next, for next year. It's just stuff all over the place. It's a bit of a mess. At this moment of time, uh, I am going to try and use this little bit of bed chart to put say uh, some letters and stuff like that in. So I will be pulling these dealers up soon. Uh, I may try and take a couple of cuttings if I can, and if not, I'll just pull them up. And these are just be getting transplanted straight outside again. So once I sort out the area where they're going, which is over there next to the chicken coop. Uh, but yeah, so just a quick little update inside of here, seeing what's going on. And now what we're going to do now is we'll go to the pony tunnel and we'll have a quick little look up there. Okay, guys. Right, and guys, uh, just inside of this uh, pony tunnel, everything seems to be doing all right. Uh, like I see, a lot of stuff is dying to get out. Uh, melons are looking good, though. Really pleased with how these are looking. Uh, Lobelia sitting over there. Uh, these are my silver skins. They're going to be going inside of the raised bed. What's sitting over there? Got some more flowers over here, which I've been potting off. We've got some cheesy cauliflowers here, where it have been hit a little bit, and uh, they have slowed the plant down. But we've got some more sitting right here. So these have been potted off. We've got some cabbages. Yeah, they are stretching a little bit, but we've got some different ones. Uh, this is the red drumhead. So we've got them potted up. We managed to get the kale potted up. We've got some kohlrabi potted up. These are the swift sweet corn. I just need to go through these ones, which are the calabrese. 
these are the Calabrese uh, properties so these need to be potted up into some bigger pot so like I say hopefully in the next week or two uh, they'll be going out uh, I just didn't want, don't want to take any chances because they're all getting quite root bound so I don't know if that's a that cause a problem or what so I'm not going to take the chance I'm just going to pot them up I'm just going to put them in the pine cups so they're half pine cups they'll be going straight in the pine cups that's the giant leak there seems to be doing all right and then these down here which are my chilies all different variety of chilies and peppers seem to be doing all right as well uh, we'll just need to warm up a little bit but here uh, we've got some nice some are better than us but like i say you guys we've got some nice little flower heads coming on so yeah so everything in here seems to be doing all right just everything just needs to start going out that's all uh, these are my just move them out of the way there these are the Elsa Craigs. We've got our potted up, the onions, and uh, they seem to be doing all right. Uh, we'll leave them for a little bit longer, see how they get on, and then uh, we'll go through the rest of them. Because like I say, these are lovely onions when I had when I had them last year. These are the Swede. Uh, they seem to be doing all right. Uh, some of them have been hit a little bit. Uh, but we keep an eye on them so they get on so yeah so I, I put a bit of cover over the top of these just to protect them a little bit because like I say I've been struggling trying to grow melons and uh, I'm definitely definitely going to give it 100% this year so keep close eye on them but there we go guys like I say I just got these potted up and that uh, just to protect them a little bit more so they can sit in these pots for a little bit longer so it's no rush Well, there you have it. What I do is actually I have got some stuff in the cold frame out there. Uh, we'll go and quickly have a little look at that now, okay? So then, guys, these are the Calabrese again. These were these were the ones that were sitting inside of the uh, greenhouse, which I decided to bring out. So, throwing the gods stretched and all that, and if they're gonna work, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but they seem to be doing all right inside of there. That's why I put them inside the yard for just a little, just a little trial to see how they get on and. Uh, not a lot of water gets inside of here uh, so it seems to be doing the trick so I'm going to slowly start bringing another stuff out of the pouring tunnel and then I start getting inside of here so I'm going to start hardening off but there we go guys uh, so I'll meet you back at the bottom greenhouse and then we'll get this video wrapped up for the day right guys uh, so back behind the greenhouse uh, so there you have it just a quick little scan around to see what I've been up to and as you've seen there, uh, all them petunias, I managed to go through them, got them sorted out, and uh, fingers crossed, get some lovely flowers from them. Uh, also, I've gone and potted up some uh, of the brassicas, because uh, like I say, guys, we're just in little miniature pots and stuff, and a lot of root inside of them, and uh, I was quite worried in case it starts uh, causing any problems with the plant. Some stuff has stretched, uh, some stuff looked better than others, uh, but it's just a learning curve at the end of the day. I need to try and get my timings right, because they're all, all over the place a little bit. But yeah, I'm getting better. Uh, every year I do it, uh, I, I do improve. Uh, so that's it for the day, guys. For now, uh, I, I've just got to get these potted up. But I'll probably just leave that over the weekend. And also them uh, Calabrese uh, broccoli as well. I need to get them into the pine cups and all. Just so they've got some more room inside of there. So it's not going to cause any problems with the plant. They might be absolutely fine. Uh, but I don't know what has been new to it so that's how I'm going to do it and uh, fingers crossed it should be okay and then I'm going to start slowly bringing them out just half of them bit by bit and sit them inside of the cold frame and start getting tr them transplanted out uh, as soon as the weather sorts itself out basically uh, I am going to keep on uh, sowing some more seed because i got some friends and family and stuff who want uh, some stuff offers and things so I am going to be set sowing some more seed and stuff as soon as I start getting some more space and soon starts warming up a little bit. Uh, like I say guys, we have got some lettuce uh, going, we've got some uh, purple broccoli and, st and, and stuff like that, so everything seems to be spot on. I am, over the weekend and all, is going to go through with the mortar plant and I'm going to work out what are going to be going down into the pony tunnel and then I'm going to take them out of here and they're going to start sitting inside of the pony tunnel in the pot 
uh, just for a couple of days till we get used to the uh, the temperatures inside of there and then we'll, we'll, we'll sort out that raised bed because I'm going to have to start getting rid of that table soon we'll sort out that raised bed give it a dig over hoist some fresh uh, topsoil on some multi-purpose compost on it and then uh, we'll, I'll show you how I do my uh, tomatoes and we'll get them transplanted out because it's time for them to go out as well and it should be fine inside of that uh, greenhouse uh, pony tunnel sorry I just need to get it all set up and then hopefully that's it good to go like I say guys nice plant and that one there is a money maker so I've got money maker and red cherry and then these chilli plants here, what I got? I got some chilies and a pepper plant. Uh, these ones here. Once all this is cleared out, uh, I will have my chilli plants inside here and pepper plants inside here, and all. So I can uh, experiment on them and do all that stuff with them as well. So there we go, guys. Uh, cheers for watching, and hopefully I catch you back here tomorrow. And uh, the weather's a little bit better, and we'll go through the calibres, uh, broccoli, and we'll get that sorted out. And also, guys, what I do and all is I'll give you a little tour around the actual garden on the outside of the garden. Uh, so, have a look with onions and stuff like that, and we'll see if any more stuff has germinated on that raised bed as well. So, catch us in a bit, and hope we see you tomorrow. Right, hello everyone, welcome back. It is now Friday and it is around about four o'clock. Uh, it's been a lovely day today, guys. Uh, it's starting to get a bit of an overcast now out there, uh, but it's been absolutely stunning. I was up here this morning, uh, around about seven o'clock, straight up here. I left this greenhouse door open a little bit, and also I took the window out on the pony tunnel, and also left the pony tunnel door open and all, and it's been on all day till I got to the garden uh, about half past three. Uh, no condensation inside there whatsoever so it's absolutely spot on so i'm really really pleased with that uh, obviously i am going to lock everything up tonight and stuff because we are due some rain and things uh, i think in the next couple of days uh, the weather's going to start sorting itself out uh, what i mean by that is it's going to be a little bit warmer on a uh, on a morning basically so the idea is to leave that pony down on the door open all the time and also leave the window out uh, obviously when it's raining really bad and stuff like that uh, I'm going to have to do a couple of little tests on it to see how much rain actually gets in through the net and stuff uh, but up to now I'm really pleased that it seems like the window's working because like I say it was bone dry inside of there and uh, sometimes when I never had the window in it did get quite wet uh, so I'm really really pleased with it we're all going to get everything cleared out of there soon uh, everything needs to start going out basically we need to get stuff hardened off and things like that and then uh, I can get in there and sort out that raised bed because I need to get my tomatoes then I need to get inside of that pony tunnel and then I need to be getting sorted out inside of there as well and all that stuff and all uh, so I'm going to start slowly planting stuff out over the weekend uh, we're going to go through some of the lettuce there it is because I just had to just put some water in so I'm going to go through some of these I'm going to put some of them in the raised beds and that also I've got some friends who, was, who are after some and also I'll be getting getting them sorted uh, we've got different variety of lettuce that's going to be going in, in the raised bed I've got some spring onions up there what I want to try and put out as well uh, but we we'll, we'll might hold off till the next weekend to do that my dad's put his spring onions out the ones that were sitting just right there uh, he's took the chance he's put them out and uh, they're looking kind of good like uh, just need to pick up because he's just, just planting them out so they're a little bit flat at the moment but they should be fine uh, also guys when I'm down here I'm going to do some sweet corn some more sweet corn so as you've seen there I had practically 100% uh, percent germination on the sweet corn the incredible uh, I just pulled out the seed what didn't germinate uh, I just rotted away and I just put a fresh seed inside of it and uh, just wait for that to germinate hopefully and I'll have a nice full tray so I'm going to do another tray now so same again some incredible f one got these paper cups quite a couple of holes in the bottom for drainage uh, if these paper cups last brilliant uh, I use them again if not ideally they'll be going straight in the compost uh, bins and uh, they're, they're just break down over the year 
and uh, we'll get some free compost basically. Uh, so these are really good, uh, recyclable, spot on, and they're the hard enough to last a kind of bit till I transfer the uh, sweet corn out. So I got, what have I got here? One, two, three, four, five. So I've got 15 cups there. Put holes in every single one of them. We'll three to four holes in every single one of them. Uh, I'm going to fill them up with some multi-purpose compost. So I've just got some multi-purpose compost. Uh, I've just added a little bit of uh, blood, fish and bone. Probably don't need to do that because it's got feed in, but I have. Uh, because I don't know how long I'm going to sit in the pot for. So I've got to add a little bit of feed. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just getting these potted up. So I've got two, two of them left to do. To do. So these are the croissants what I ordered off the internet. And these, like from a... A proper place company can't remember the name now Woolsey Woolsey or something I think can't remember now I'll have to find out for you uh, came as little plug plants absolutely spot on and I've just been potting them on to the next size pot and doing really really good they're nice and green uh, so all I'm doing is just putting them up into the next size pot that's all I'm doing got different uh, varieties there uh, the lovely stunning little plants like I say guys never grow them before so I'll probably give you a little review on that at the end of the year and I'll tell you exactly how they're all and if I like them or what but uh, they do by the picture they do look like nice plants especially for cutting and stuff uh, so yeah we've got the variety there but unfortunately uh, came with a little label of all the names on but the the plants weren't named up it was probably the way they were put in the box and they should have been like that, like number one, number two, number three. Uh, but I, I haven't realised, so they're mixed up at the moment. I have still got the little tag, and I don't know what they look like. So once they start flowering, I can get them uh, tagged properly. And also I can start taking cutting strong and stuff like that, so I can start building up the stock. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to them, because uh, they look, like I say, they look lovely plants. They're a variety called uh, Dartmoor. Well, they, I just love the way the little flower heads look. Just absolutely stunning. So all I got gonna do is I got the tub here. Just put some multi-purpose inside of here. I put a little bit of blood fish and bone. Probably don't need to do that, but I have. Uh, all I'm gonna do is is just tie enough, just enough in the bottom, just to cover the bottom. Uh, check these out. So as you see there, nice little root system. <laughs> Loads of little fibre hairs on them and stuff, you, you see. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to just sit that in that. Get all that pot out. So sit that in there. Just loosen them up a little bit, just be careful. Just tease them away a little bit. Sit that in there, and then I'm just going to fill around the side of it. So I'll quickly jump down here. And there you have it. That's another one done. So I've got five of them to do. So I'm going to quickly get them done. And then we'll have a quick, well, I'll do the sweet corn and then we'll have a quick little look at them. Okay, so I'm going to get them done and then uh, we'll go on to the sweet corn and have a look at the sweet corn. Okay. Right, and guys, here, so that is the croissants here, all done and dusted into their pots. Yeah, uh, just give them a little bit of a drink there. And they're just sitting on that little bit of bench here nicely, so I'm pleased with them. Uh, the other croissants put are in there, which I got off the uh, John Pearson. I will be uh, potting them up as well, they're going to get potted up. Uh, probably do that over the weekend if I remember, because uh, that's another job to tackle. But these ones, yeah, are absolutely stunning. Lovely plants. So, anyway, back to the sweet corn. So, I got 15 cups here. There we go. So, I just filled it up with some multi purpose compost, mixed it in a uh, little tub like that with some uh, blood fish and bone. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, sharp sand in, just a little bit, to help for drainage. And I filled the cups up. So that's 15 cups filled up. I just 
sprinkled a little bit of water in so I just pre-soaked it. I am going to water them again as soon as I put the uh, the seed in because with it being a thick seed and like thick shell, uh, I want it to absorb the water. Because uh, like I see guys, uh, people chip these. So you can chip them, uh, throw it different ways how to do these. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I've got my cup, nice long cup, longer the better. If I never had these, I would just use a half pint cup. Uh, just so we've got plenty of space for the roots to grow because the roots are dead thick and they go straight down straight all the way and uh, they get really thick so from this stage if I need to pot them up again uh, I'll put them straight in the, into a uh, pint cup but to be honest with you the, warm, the weather starts warming up and I've got my timings right hopefully I can direct them straight from the outside so what I'm going to do is I've got just a little lollipop stick a little bit dirty but it's a lollipop stick and I've got about say around about there and that's how much I want to push it in I want to make a hole about that and then that way I'm going to drop the seed inside it so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same again about that roughly on every single one of them absolutely love sweet corn sweet corn was like I say guys was the best crop what I grew last year absolutely stunning it was stunning and also the hens like them I know because my dad keeps on buying the cobs the fresh cobs and they oh, they're all over it so yeah I've got the seeds here hopefully there's enough in the packet but there we go so I'm just going to go through the better ones well, what look better and I'm just going to just drop them in just drop them in just like that Oosh. Okay. And then a better one. Yeah, there it is. Dropped in there. So I just drop, go for the better ones, drop them in. Got a nice little sunny spot at the top of the garden where they're going to be going. Like I say, absolutely stunning. I've been taught and all that, you can eat, eat them straight off the cobs, like off the air plants, as soon as you snap them away from the plant and actually eat them like that uh, never knew that uh, so I will give that a little shot and see and see what it's like there we go, plenty of seed probably tells you on the pack how many seeds you get you get 40 seed in the pack so I've done 15 there so that there be 30 altogether, if they come through, I have 30, 30 of them. Well, I want some more, I want more, more. I've got some uh, swift at the top and all, I've done them um, a few weeks back. And they seem to be doing all right as well. And so, once I drop the seed in, there we go, as you can see, there's the seed. I'm just close it up. There we go. So I'll just close it up, close them all up. I will put a little bit of a uh, cover over the top of these, like I did with the other ones. Uh, that's just due to because I got mice, and uh, the mice would probably just end up just nibbling these out. I imagine. So I don't want to take any chances. I want them to get a get a hold. Also, I'm just going to give them a quick little splash of water. I do apologise, guys, because I would normally have his facing down so you can have a little look, but I still haven't picked up a. A tripod yet yeah. yeah i've got your balancing on a little bit of metal on the greenhouse here so i do apologize but it is what it is that's it straight forward i'll give them a little bit of a drink there we go and then that there is what i'm going to put on over the top of them just to protect them a little bit from the mice and it might help them germinate quick i know would have been a bit more warm but there we go guys, uh, that is it, uh, that is it for the day, I'm going to call it a day now, it's starting to rain, uh, I'm going to get the pony tunnel all closed up now, and then uh, we'll be in the weekend, yes, happy days, uh, I'm going to be back down here tomorrow, uh, I think Saturday is a rainy day as well, but I don't think the temperatures are going to be dropping too low on the night time, because that's the issue at the moment, it's uh, through the night when it drops quite low, but uh, putting stuff out, 
So tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, I might start moving some stuff out of the pony tunnel, uh, just bits, bits and bobs, uh, just to trail it, and uh, start putting it inside of the cold frame, and let them sit inside that cold frame for a couple of days, and then we'll start getting things transplanted out. Uh, I'm thinking about getting things trans transplanted out round about, not this weekend, S certain stuff, some lettuce and stuff like that, I would say, because I've got plenty of them, uh, but some of that stuff, I might wait till the end of, I might do it next weekend. Uh, I don't know yet, I don't know, it just depends on this weather and that, and uh, how how it turns out, basically. Uh, but that's it, guys, for today. Uh, cheers for watching and that, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you back with you tomorrow. We'll see what jobs we can tackle. And I'll just give you a quick little scan for again and just to see how things are getting on. So cheers for watching and I'll catch you then. Right, hello everyone, welcome back. It is now Sunday, the 9th of May. Uh, just pop the garden guys because uh, I'm gonna tackle a couple of jobs today because the day is a better day. Yesterday I came up on Saturday and uh, I just spent an hour up here. I didn't do a great deal because the weather was absolutely horrendous. It was pouring down the rain and uh, was just no good. Couldn't do now outside. Yeah, I managed to put some stuff on, uh, which I'll spin his around and let us have a quick little look at what I've been doing. Uh, but however, not a lot's been happening. Hopefully that's it now, and that is the last of the frost, what we're going to be getting, so I can start getting stuff transplanted out. Uh, first things first, what we're going to be doing is, is I'm going to be sorting out that raised bed, uh, the no dig bed, which is sitting right there. I'm going to get that sorted out, and I'm going to put some lettuce inside of there. Uh, not loads, just a, just a couple of plants, uh, just to see how they get on over the next week or two, and then we'll get the rest of them out. Also, we're going to be going to the top of the garden, into the pony tunnel, and we're going to start pulling out some of them brassicas, and they're going to be sitting inside of the new cold frame when I built, which is sitting right there. They'll be going inside of the cold frame, uh, and that, they can sit inside of there just to harden off, uh, and then next week, Dad's going to start getting all the ground all prepped up, ready to go so hopefully in a week or two we can start get the brass guys out uh, like i say guys i just want to make sure that all the weather's all right we don't take any chances on now like that uh, so we're just going to gradually do it bit by bit but yeah really pleased happy days and start getting stuff planted out a uh, little bit of a problem going on the side of the potting shed my petunia is what i've done uh, probably a tray has been et by mice so once i clear some space at the top of the pony tunnel uh, I will be moving them out of there and maybe going up there as well because I don't want anything happening to them because they I've got plans for them petunias and uh, the last thing I want is the mice eating them all because it's probably at a full tree uh, but I will spin his round and let his have a little look so what we're going to do guys is we are going to go straight up to the top of the potty tunnel we'll start pulling some of the stuff out of there and uh, we'll get them straight into the cold frame. I want to make some space up there, and then that means I can get them petunias out of there. And then what we'll do is we'll come back into here, and we'll grab some lettuce, and we'll get some lettuce transplanted out. And then uh, we'll probably call it a day, and hopefully next week, like I say, because the weather's all right, because everyone's going to start pouring down the rain again all next week, we can start getting stuff uh, transplanted out into the ground. Okay, so the spin is around now, guys. And we'll go up to the pony tunnel and have a look up there okay right and guys uh, so we'll go up the pony tunnel we'll have a quick little look but first things first i'll show you this uh, so this is the calabrese these have been sat in here all week uh, with all the rain and stuff and they've been absolutely spot on so that tells me that i can start pulling stuff out of that pony tunnel and i can go inside of there to get hardened off this is the ground what we dad need to get all prepared ready for the brassicas So as you can see inside the yard guys, it's lovely and dry because I had that window open and also this door has been open as well. Uh, we are through some more rain tonight and some wind basically. Uh, so I am going to close it and close the door. Uh, but hopefully once the temperature start warming up properly, I can leave it open. And as you can see, it's bone dry, which is ideal, perfect. So I'm really, really pleased. Uh, I will be up here in the morning, early in the morning to get anything inside of here opened up as you can see here all the brass guys here so we're going to get some of these out and they're going to be going inside of the cold frame and they're uh, ready to get transplanted out also i've got some backups here 
just in case any disasters. So I've got some cabbages here. I've got some more of the Calabrese broccoli. Uh, I have been through some flowers and stuff. Uh, everything seems to be done all right. These are looking good. These are my melons. So yeah, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna go through some of these and then we're gonna put them inside of that cold frame. And then what we'll do then is, I can move the petunias up so they're not getting attacked by the mice. Bring them up here. Yeah. And then I can get some lettuce and all and get some lettuce transplanted out in that raised bed. So I'm gonna crack on with this and get some stuff put into that cold frame, okay? Right, and guys, so I moved all, well, some of the brassicas away from here and uh, I just moved the petunias up here because, like I say, they've been ate by the mice inside of the potting shed. But all them there seem to be doing all right. Be better in here anyway, more light. Like I say, they're not going to be staying in here too long because this table needs to go. Uh, these are going to be going out soon now because these are ready to go out. I don't want these bolting on out like that. Uh, so they're going to be going out but i'll quickly show you inside of the cold frame so as you can see there guys nice and full so we've got some kohlrabi kale cabbages cauliflowers and uh, some broccoli inside of there so my dad's going to come up every day and open that lid uh, just so they can harden off and fingers crossed, this should be spot on, ready to get transplanted out in there. We guys are going to get all that sorted out here uh, next week. So what we're going to do now is, guys, we're going to go down to this raised bed here. And I'm going to put some lettuce. Uh, I'm going to leave that bit of space here because I'm going to put my uh, spring onions here. Uh, so next to the carrots, the prevent any carrot root fly uh, because of the companion plant supposed to be but we shall find out so I'm going to put the lettuce over this section just here uh, but as you can see here we've got some lovely germination coming through of the beet the radish is looking good and also if we look carefully over here some sweet candle carrots so there we go, we've got some germination on some sweet candle carrots there as well. So we'll go for some lettuce, or I'm just going to just put a couple out, not loads, and we'll just see how they get on, because like I say guys, they haven't been hard enough, I'm just going to put them straight out of that greenhouse, and just put some in and see how they get on. So I'll go and grab a tray now. Right guys, as you can see here, I've got three different kind of lettuce, well I say that, that one there, it's got like a mix batch in it. So I'm going to take a couple out of each one and then we're just going to put them inside of that raised bed there. So I prepare the holes, I pull them out and then we'll have a quick little look, okay? Right guys, so these are the little plug plants. So I've done like a row of four. Just get them lined up for you so you can see what I'm doing. So there's going to be four there, four there four there uh, these are lovely little plug plants perfect like i say dying to get out i will have to put a little bit of cover over the top of these just to protect them a little bit because like i say they look lovely and juicy to pigeons and stuff like that and they will have a nice little nibble on them uh, I, i'm not going to put i'm going to risk it and i'm not going to put any air uh, pellets down for the slugs uh, due to I've got plenty of these plants uh, I don't need to put anything on this raised bed hopefully fingers crossed the bees all right uh, I will keep mine it though I will put a bit of cover over the top of them though as well just to protect them a little bit like I say so I've got some blood fish and bone here so all I'm going to do with some blood fish and bone is if I can get my hands in there let's just get like a little pinch and I put some holes in I'm just going to just drop some Right, guys, uh, there you have it. Uh, 
that's um, transplanted in. As you see there, I just left a little gap down there because that's where I'm going to put my spring onions. And like I say, guys, I've got plenty of these plants, so fingers crossed uh, they work out all right and they don't get attacked by any slugs and all like that. Uh, I am going to look for some netting to put over the top of it just to protect them a little bit from pigeons. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, these should be fine. So I'm going to get them back into the greenhouse because these will be getting transferred around the garden and stuff like that and also inside of the potting shed as well. And then uh, I'm going to move them tomato plants out of there, put them inside of my uh, pony tunnel and then go around, give everything a good drink. Give these a little bit of a, uh, a drink, just to water them in. And then I'm going to call it a day and I'll meet you back inside of that greenhouse. Right guys, uh, so there you have it, uh, I have got that bit of space there to go, so I might put some more lettuce in there, I don't know, I don't want to use it all up, because like I say, I want to experiment and put loads of different stuff in here. Uh, the spring onions are going to be going there, which is sitting inside of the pony tunnel. Uh, these are coming through nicely, and the carrots. So hopefully this yeah, just protects them a little bit from any pigeons out like that. And like I say guys, I've got plenty more to put inside of there if I need to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to meet you in this greenhouse, get this video wrapped up for the day and for the week. And then I'm going to go around quickly get everything to water and then call it a day. Okay, so I'll meet you inside of there now. Right guys, uh, back here in the greenhouse. Uh, so that's it for the day and that's it for the week. Uh, not a lot's been going on guys due to the weather and stuff. It's been absolutely miserable. But that lettuce there is the first thing that we're getting properly planted out. Uh, so fingers crossed they'll be all right we've got loads of more lettuce to transplant out uh, some's going to be going inside the pot and shed i'm going to put some inside my pony tunnel because i want to see what sort of stuff grows inside of there and also some will be directly transplanted around the garden somewhere as well all the brassicas are slowly starting to come out of there now and they're going to be going inside of the pole frame because in the next week or two uh, they will be getting transplanted out into the garden uh, my dad's just going to come up and just give that ground just to dig over just one more time just to loosen up the soil so we can get them transplanted out uh, but hopefully that's it for the frost now hopefully it's gone and uh, we we'll start getting things cleared out and then transplanted out so i need to get that bed up there sorted inside of that pony tunnel for these tomato plants going up because uh, these need to be going in basically soon as now so i'm going to take these to the top of the garden now and then i'm going to go around give everything a little bit of a drink and then that's it for the day for me uh, so cheers for watching guys really, really appreciate it uh, i want to say hello to all my new subscribers welcome to the channel this is the gardening channel of course and also it is for beginners i am a beginner this will be my third season now uh, so any tips any advice you got uh, just leave a comment down the bottom i really appreciate it or anything you want to ask me uh, same again guys just leave a little comment down the bottom and i get back to you as soon as i can uh, but cheers welcome to the channel uh, i want to say cheers for all the likes all the comments off views guys out there all the views really really appreciate it and if you consider subscribing because you haven't done it come along see what we'll do it's all free guys you just get notified when i upload channels and stuff uh, videos and stuff uh, so come along see what we'll get up though throughout this growing season uh, but cheers for now guys and hopefully i catch us back here next week and hopefully the weather starts getting better and then we're going to start seeing my stuff grow so catch us in a bit okay